Yes, Paul Brame joins me now of Newry Lions Club. Third uh, Saturday in June. That's what they need to remember, Paul. Yes, Saturday and, the 21st of June. And tell them why they must remember it. Well, it's, it is the biggest vintage car show in all of Ireland. It has been running now for nearly 30 years. Uh, my involvement, I've been in it for 19 years Nine now. Years. But the main thing is, it is run for charity. Um, all the money raised on it goes mm. back into the community and to supporting local charities and different mm. events within the area. And it's, a, uh, it's a hugely impressive sight to see the, the whole swathe of uh, vintage vehicles right across Kilbrony Park. Well, well uh, funny enough, uh, this year the, the show has slowly but surely been growing. It started off from a very modest 200 cars mm. some years ago to this year we're expecting to hit about 1,400 vintage wow. cars. And they come from all over Ireland, parts of Scotland and some from England. And uh, that is even, we're up about 15% on great. last year's yeah. figures. So um, it is getting bigger, but the, the site that we're in, Kilbrony Park, it must be one of the, the best kept secrets in Ireland. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a fabulous site for it and plenty of room to expand. It's like a huge amphitheatre there at the foot of the mountain, that cusp between the mountain and the sea. That's uh, where you are. That's exactly this where we fantastic. are down in Restriver. And um, I will say the show promises this year, um, we have something in it for everyone because a number of years ago, you'll remember we incorporated the tractors and mm. farm machinery and that to suit the local farmers and that there. We have uh, motorbikes in for the enthusiasts, vintage motorbikes. Yes. And, and then we have cars. Uh, I think at this moment in time, the oldest car we have is 1927, which has been entered in. But there's loads of old cars right up to the modern day cars. And then, of course, we, we have the auto jumblers who are selling parts for old cars oh, and yeah. out there. And um, you'll, get, you'll get tilly lamps and all the rest of it. Well, you'd be able to buy absolutely anything. <laughs> From an anchor. But, uh, was it an anchor? A pin to an anchor. But, but even, even for those, uh, there's something for all the enthusiasts and out there who are into vintage cars. But even for just a family day out, uh, we provide entertainment for the children. We provide a lot of activities. We, we do have a full-scale uh, um, trade stands where like a market, a mini market, yeah. and there is absolutely something for everyone. Uh, and we try and encourage people to come along, make a day of it, ah, yeah. take their picnics along, absolutely. and use the park to its full extent. You see, the, 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 the people who are involved in the vintage world, they're very, very special people. They, they are. They're, they're a particular breed of people, and they... Um, they spend the whole year looking after their car, polishing it, and and, um, and they take it out possibly two, three, four times a year mm. to show it off. Mm. The rest of the year it is wrapped up. But um, I think the reason why they like Kilbrony Park, um, it is a full day show. Mm. It starts very early in the morning. Um, we do have the, the park... Uh, in fact, a lot of the cars actually come the day before. Mm. They get set up and people come and camp and stay overnight with the cars. And the show goes right on through the day. People start arriving at half eight, nine o'clock in the morning. Mm. And by midday, one o'clock, we could have anything up to 30,000 people wow. in the park, which is a colossal amount of people. And it goes right through into seven, eight o'clock in the evening. Fantastic. So it's quite a big show. And well, is there something that we maybe start to take for granted? There's a huge amount of work involved in this. Yeah, well, I've been involved with the setup of it for quite a number of years, and believe it or not, the show is on in, in, in June, but as soon as the show's over in July, we will have a meeting. Obviously, we have a meeting to find out all of the failures we had and record them and that there. But, uh, and all the successes. And all the successes sake. too. But, uh, and then we start planning for next year. But, but all of these cars, most of the entrances that are coming, we've already wrote out to them earlier in the year. They've filled in application forms. 
uh, they have returned them to us. Mm. They all go into a magazine. There is a magazine produced on the day with listing all the cars that are in the show. Mm. So apart from that there then, there is the setting up of the park. The park takes, we, uh, we've been down in the park and we've done drawings and layout maps and that there. But uh, we start on a Thursday morning and we worked Thursday, all day Thursday and all day Friday setting the park up for the, the show. Um, you, but, you get great cooperation as well from Newry and Moran Council. Newry and Moran Council, I must say, are absolutely fantastic when it comes to this year. Now, mm. I will say uh, the council support us in many ways. They, they obviously give us the facilities. Uh, we have all the meetings in Warren Point Town Hall, which is their facilities, uh, and they do give us great support. But all the work on the day and that there is all done by 140 volunteers. And that's how many people it takes to stage the show on the actual day. Yes. Um, yes. We do invite charities to take part because obviously all the money that we take in is then divided amongst the charities. So yes. we, we invite charities to take part and then uh, the char each of the charities supply four to six people to give us a hand either with car parking mm -hmm. or entrance or mm -hmm. getting vintage cars into the field or there's a whole yep. a yep. whole load of duties. That, that's not even right down to the very end of the day of uh, we have to even let her pick the park and leave the park back leave it to the way you got it. Leave it the way we got it. Yeah. So uh, th there's quite a bit of, mm. of organisation in the whole thing. But well, we'll we, we, haven't man we haven't mentioned yet the organisation that's responsible for this, the Lions Club. Newry uh, Lions Club, yes. This is close to your heart. Yes, well, Newry well, Lions Club has been going about 47 years in Newry. Um, it is very much a, a charity. Um, when I say it's a charity, it helps charities that need help. Mm. Uh, obviously, there's a big demand on all charities, and funding, getting funding is quite hard. Now, Newry Lions uh, would be involved in a lot of things around Newry. We help the gateway. We provide transport. Apart from cash assistance, we provide transport. We do a talking newspaper every week. Every mm. Thursday, we record the local papers, and they're put on to... Um, new, I call them... We memory sticks. Memory sticks. Yep, yep. And the, the post office delivers them out overnight. They're delivered to the people on Friday morning. They have mm. them and they can listen to all the news. People for mm. visually impaired and mm. is unable to read the papers now. Uh, we do the likes of that. We also uh, um, provide dinners Christmas Day. You with, do indeed. Uh, but then we, we do fundraising. We would have golf days. Kilbrony would be a big fundraising event. We do the, the swims That's through the right. school, which earns massive income. And that money is all then distributed to different mm. charities and needs within the area. I think I need to tell people that the apple never falls far from the tree. Your father was the uh, first president of the Lions in Yuri. Yeah, my, my father, 47, 47 years ago, was responsible for bringing the lions to Newry. And it has grown and Tell stopped. us that story. You know, your father, uh, George Brahm? Well, he was known as Ted Brahm. Ted Brahm. Uh, his name was George Brahm, but uh, he, for some reason, everybody called, called him, him Ted. Ted. And uh, my father was a businessman in Newry involved in the, the oil business, Sternal Oil. And uh, he, my father was actually an Englishman who had met my mother who was from Fork Hill through the war. My mother was a nurse and after the war they come back and they settled down here and um, was in business and done a lot of things for the community and a lot of things to help better Newry mm. and Newry make it a better environment for people He's to a, live in. A father, a fa uh, he could rightly be described as a father of the modern Newry because he was putting down the, the foundations all those 47 years ago. Absolutely. We, we stand on the shoulders of giants, really. Well, uh, certainly uh, in relation to the lands, the lands has grown from strength to strength. Mm -hmm. The lands today, um, we have, what, about 33 members. We meet mm. every fortnight in Newry. We meet in the Canal Court. And in recent times, in the last five or six years, we've even, it used to be an all-male organisation. Yes, yes. But we've introduced ladies, which has brought Fantastic. a whole new yep. approach to the mm -hmm. 
to the organisation. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, it is very, very active and the, the members, as I say, they, they donate their time freely. Um, they don't get any expense or cost. Um, the actual cost for run that each member pays a membership, which helps mm. run the the, mm. the expenses and administration for the year. And then, as I say, we go into raising funds, and mm. all the funds we raise Great. all go back straight into the community. So we'll remind the people again, just as we close, uh, when it's all happening, and make sure that you manage to get there on the day. It's the third Saturday in June. June the 21st. June the 21st, and the park is open from? The, the park will be open that morning from 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Uh, to take cars, and we do like cars to, to pre-register. And uh, if they go onto the Kilbrony Vintage website or onto Newry and Mourne Council, they can actually get a form and fill in the form for their car. The only condition for a vintage car must be 20 years or more mm -hmm. older. Mm -hmm. And they can fill the form in, all the details are on the form, and they can send the form in, and then they will be pre-registered. But on saying that, if they're not, if you have a vintage car, and a lot of people wait till the day to see what the weather's mm -hmm. going to be in that, you can still come along on the day, and we will not refuse anyone entry. That's as good as it gets. Paul Graham, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, All Rowan. the best to you. God bless you. Thank you.